Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today's video is all about the COD Mobile World Championship 2020, guys. It was a huge announcement yesterday. Uh, they announced there will be a second chance for everyone to re-qualify for the World Championship. So the stages that are going on right now are called Stage 1, Stage 2, Stage 3, and so on. But we are going back to Stage 1B. And there will be a stage 2B and stage 3B. So today, all the information you need, whether you are in right now, or if you miss your chance on round 1, or what happened if you are in round 2 and you fell, can you qualify again? A lot of questions answered today, and more details about the format and what will happen in the near future. So guys, make sure you watch the whole video. Also, subscribe to the channel right now if it's not done for daily comable videos. So let's get into it. So there was a new community update on Reddit, guys. They announced a new map, uh, the updates and news for what's coming up next. Uh, don't forget to get your free skin, guys, by logging every day. But yeah, they did talk about the Cut Mobile Championship, if you scroll near the end. And that was the picture I saw on Reddit earlier today. Stage 1B goes live July 2nd, which is in about a week. And that was pretty big news because a lot of guys, first of all, they completely skipped the first round. They had no idea what was going on. Uh, some guys tried, but they just missed the qualifiers. They didn't qualify at all. Some guys qualified, but they fell to pass stage two. So there wasn't much information, only a picture uh, and a post on Twitter, I think, but not much else. So now they say the Call of Duty Mobile eSports website has updated today with new information. I decided to go and read that, guys, because I had a lot of questions for my team, but also a lot of you guys asking questions in the chat. So let's go into the game real quick and see what's going on right now. So right now, this is stage two, okay? So it's going to end like tomorrow night or something like that. Uh, you had to qualify for stage one. Stage one was four weekends. You could play all four weekends even if you qualified just to get the rewards every week. So stage 1B will be the same. Four weekends again, you can replay all four just for the rewards if you want. And you can try to re-qualify for another stage two will be stage 2B. Now stage two is a team qualifier. You had to form a team of five or six players all qualified players from the same region so my team's from north america all five players are qualified and also are from the north america region and look at that guys and i'm gonna tell you guys we went 27 and 3 here okay which is actually pretty decent uh and we will probably miss the cut guys we're at 432 points as i'm recording it's 429 to advance and it's probably not gonna hold guys so I see people trying to look for a team and they say, yo, I'm pro four, I look looking for a team. Guys, if you're not master or up, don't even bother. Cause at pro level, you earn less than 16 points per win. Even if you win all your games at pro, you won't have enough points. So you might as well rank up before. And even if you're master, you pretty much need to win all your games, guys, because there's a lot of teams at Legendary and they get 20 points per win. So lesson learned, I guess next time, if I had to do it again, I would level up to Legendary or rank up to Legendary first, all five players, get Legendary rank, even get a few points like Cushion. So if you lose some games, you don't go down to Master again and try to play all your games at Legendary because... Uh, the competition is hard. There's a lot of teams. There's a lot of people playing this game, guys. Millions and millions of players. So, um, yeah, pretty sure if you're at Master, you need to win all your games. Maybe maybe you can lose one, but we'll see at the end, all right? So that is the first thing I wanted to tell you guys. If you miss your shot and you're going to do it again, do it right. Like, it's all new, and we didn't know everything when we started. So, uh, yeah, if I had to go back... Probably I would go Legendary first. Of course, the games are going to be harder, but still, you still need to win anyways, right? But anyways, the top 500 teams from Stage 2 will advance to Stage 3, which is going to be next week. So the 1B phase and going to the 2B are not going to be in the same Phase 3. That, that being said, there will be also a Phase 3B. So it's just like if there's two tournaments at the same time, but at the end, 
the top teams from each region will meet for the final stage. Now, what's the next step, guys? Well, if you advance to stage three, you will have to create a game battles account. All players on your team got to be on game battles. You got to register your team. And I'm even going to show you the brackets and stuff or how the, the format is. But that's it. Like if you're in stage three, it's starting next week. So that's why I say the guys will requalify for stage 1B will not be in stage three next week. They'll qualify. But if you're in the top 500 teams for your region right now, you will have to play Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The round of 500 is a single elimination. If you lose, you're out. Then the next day you keep playing. If you lose, you're out until two teams remain and you have a second chance. So there's two chances to qual like to requalify uh, if you're on stage three. So two teams will advance from the first tournament and two teams will advance for the second tournament on each region. All right. So that is stage three going on next week if you qualified. Now, if you failed, if you didn't qualify, here's a stage 1B. So stage 1B is a second chance. It's going to be exactly what we had in the past four weekends in a row. You can try. You're going to play 10 games solo or with friends, but you don't have to be in a team. And again, try to get legendary before you rank up. But yeah, the rewards, different rewards every week. So last time we had some gold camos. Well, this time it looks like championship purple camos. But anyways, if you qualify in one of these four weekends, it says here, you will be going to qualifier stage 2B. And that's going to be the same. You're going to form a team. You're going to play 30 games with your team and try again to get enough points. Top 500 teams will advance to stage 3B. Now, after stage 3 is going to be all custom lobbies that you will have to do versus the other teams in your bracket. You're going to have to go on game battles, look at the tournament bracket, who's your opponent, add them, and then play custom and report your, your scores at the end of the game. So, uh, yeah, it's a whole other thing, guys. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with game battles, but I'm going to put all the links in the description, guys. First of all, go read the Call Mobile uh, eSports page. There's a lot of information there, but I pretty much summed up the uh, important parts. So yeah, one step at a time, guys. And if you didn't qualify for stage three, uh, you will have another shot once again. Same as we had, it's gonna take another, another two months, I guess. Um, I'm guessing we're way, way far for the championship finals, probably August, September or something like that. Like there's no, um, there's no date, official date announced yet, but a lot of stuff going on guys. And the rewards are looking pretty good. Now, not only COD points, but also uh, some cool skins. You see the championship purple also on the preview video, there was a leak, um, on the COD mobile skins. You saw, I think a soap soap skin with the, the purple championship skin. So maybe one of the rewards will be soap, but here on the picture, we see the ruin skin. So uh, we'll see what it is, but we're going to have four different rewards in four different weekends. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. Hope I answered most of your questions. Uh, if you have more questions that I didn't answer, maybe post in the comments down below. If you're looking for a team, I get that a lot. Make sure you check the Reddit and the official Discord. I know I have a recruitment page on my Discord. I'm pretty sure also Bobby, if you check out Bobby's Discord, he also has a, a channel for that. But definitely Reddit, community update, and official Discord. They have uh, channels for that, guys. But once again, don't forget to rank up first. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Good luck. Take care.